experiment 10 the, the title of this experiment is energy band gap by using four probe method so this is the O1 and before O1 that was the four probe setup and here we put our four probe and here you can see the material is tight with this four probe remember this material is quite costly so please deal very carefully with this material it is beneficial for you okay so deal it with very carefully while performing experiment now let's uh, put inside it and uh, connect all these wires so this is the wire where we connected with our four probe setup and uh, here you can see this black and red wire for the current and this green and yellow for the voltage so connect properly and by using this knob you can turn on or turn off the setup for prop setup and this is temperature indicator and here this is current and voltage by using this knob you can vary the for voltage this is millivolt indicator and uh, below this this is current indicator so by using this knob you can turn your current as well as your voltage here this uh, current is showing 6.95 milli ampere so by using this knob you can adjust your current so because in this experiment we have to keep our current constant while performing this experiment so we are going to keep the current at a 7 volt or you can keep the current at any value whatever you want and now here we connected this all the probes with uh, our O1 and 4 probe now we take the temperature in Kelvin so we took the temperature with a difference of 2 2 that means uh, from room temperature to we increased 50 to 40 to 50 degree and here you can see this is our millivolt see this millivolt is uh, multiplied by the 10 because here you can see this is the ranging knob and as we put this is at 1 you can see it is infinite this range is not showing and at this is 10 at 10 it is 58.7 but it's not 58.7 remember it is 587 millivolt remember i repeat again it is 587 millivolt now let's uh, uh, turn off all and again we start the uh, experiment initially so let's start it's a turn on and by using this uh, knob we can turn on or off our oven so uh, and this is the our O1 setup knob by using we can vary it or we can see the O1 is working or not so as we vary the, you will see here L, a green LED is glowing this is indicator for the O1 is working so this O1 is sensitive when the temperature increases very much it's auto cut and this green LED going to be off so now let's take the reading and this is uh, here first we are going to take the reading for the heating section and after heating section uh, we turn off the um, oven and we start taking reading for cooling section so as the temperature increases you will see and uh, you will see here the voltage is decreasing for the heating section so let's uh, start taking reading for the heating section so in heating section uh, at first uh, room temperature uh, we are not uh, getting voltage because we didn't note but at uh, you can see here at 304 it's a 586 millivolt and uh, at a, a 305 it's a 582 millivolt so as the temperature increases the voltage decreases remember at the time of heating the temperature is very very fast so take reading very carefully and perform this experiment with uh, two or three friends 
because it's easy for you and after taking all reading for the heating section turn off the oven off and uh, uh, just wait for two to three minutes because uh, as you turn off the uh, oven off because of the heating your uh, temperature is continuously increasing so wait for its sustained equilibrium and after that from down of the heating start taking reading for cooling okay for so remember your cooling and heating voltage difference should be not more than 2 or 3 millivolt because you have to take the mean of that and if this uh, difference is very much large then you will be in trouble to getting your uh, proper answer so just take the reading and do the calculation and their calculation is very important so let's see the calculation part okay okay so here you can see this is the am apparatus formula and we are going to use this formula for the resistivity and this formula for the energy band gap so this both formula is very important for the calculation and here this is the diagram okay so you can find this all the theories as well as the procedure in a pdf we put a pdf in a description so you can download from the description so go in the description and download the pdf for your benefit okay so uh, you were in pdf you will find all the material okay so let's talk about our observation table and calculation part so here you can see this is my all observations the temperature voltage mean voltage at the time of heating at the time of cooling mean and by using this vyi we determine this resistivity okay this we already calculated so we just put here directly and multiply by vyi we get our resistivity so at room temperature or material resistivity is this so at room temperature we got this one now remember for time of calculation energy band gap this 1 by t and delta log rho and delta 1 by t calculation is very important if you missed how to calculate this both you will never get your correct answer so remember how to calculate it here we put a formula for our uh, simplicity that means x n minus x n plus 1 that means when we have to determine this delta rho or delta 1 by t we have to use this where n is the number of observation okay suppose n is 1 then x 1 minus of x 1 plus 1 x 2 that means we have to subtract x1 minus of x2 that means this this minus of this so x1 minus of x2 again when n is 2 x2 minus of x3 that means this x2 minus of x3 so for first observation here we got nothing so first minus second this second minus third this third minus fourth this fourth minus fifth this fifth minus sixth this similarly you can subtract all these for the delta log rho and similarly for the delta 1 upon 2 remember this both calculation is very important for the result okay so calculate it very accurately and put it in the formula you will get your energy band gap because uh, the energy band gap of germanium is 0.7 electron volt but uh, why we didn't get this 0.7 electron volt we get the 0.58 at the last and uh, if we take the mean we get 0.3 electron volt don't uh, confuse this 11 6 18 this is 0 0.11 0 0.06 0 0.18 because here the multiplication of 10 is to minus 2 okay so at the end when we take the mean we get 0.3 electron volt and why we getting this we are explain it in our conclusion so 
the getting correct answer is not important but why you are not getting correct answer that explanation is more important okay so you have to calculate this all and we already calculate the error so at the time of error calculation we got 0.2 approximately so uh, if you you see that our energy band gap is approximate 0.5 electron volt uh, if we try to take the error okay so here this is our graph and by graph uh, we our graph is not uh, proper straight so we make a tangent and take a slope and we got our slope is uh, 0.83 into 10 to 3 that means 830 so here energy band gap is uh, from graph we get 0.33 electron volt okay so our graphical representation and calculation is very correct so why we are getting this this is explained here and what you have to take precaution this should be read by you so please read carefully and the conclu conclusion okay and the result is here so we got our uh, energy band gap 0.3 plus minus 0.2 electron volt that means it can up uh, plus 0.2 or minus 0.2 that means it should be 0.5 electron volt okay thanks for watching our videos and please go through it